Hello guys, it's me, Alan Denny, one of your favorite hot sauce guys to watch in the whole wide world, right? That's right. This is Hungry for Heat. Look at all this hot sauce I got. Seven different bottles here. I can kind of see them in there, but not really. <laughs> Just to be fair, I can't really read them. I mean, look how small they are, right? But here they are. Anyway. I have to say, happy National Hot Sauce Day. Huh? Hope you guys have been having a great National Hot Sauce Day. You've been having really great burns all day with your meals. And no cramps at all. Just enjoying the flavor and enjoying the burn. Enjoying your hot sauces, your peppers, your meals, whatever it is you're having. Truth be told, this morning I had my usual like egg sandwiches. I, had, I actually had croissant, ham, egg and cheese. I had sriracha on them. That's it. Usually I have something hotter than that, right? But yeah, what, what the hell? So I thought I wanted to, to, to do this today. These are sent to me by uh, Marie Sharps. Okay, these are all samplers of some of their finest sauces. Now you've seen reviews. I've already done uh, one for No Wimps Allowed. Um, there was a scorpion sauce that I did. But I'm going to be doing the Red Hornet sauce soon. But for National Hot Sauce Day, I wanted to try all of these. Because Marie Sharps was nice enough to send all of these to me. And I thought, what a great video that would be, right? And I got them turned where I can't see them because I was talking about where I couldn't read them earlier, right? So I'll tell you why in a second. So what I did was I went to one of my favorite Mexican restaurants called Casada. All right. I don't know where you are, where you're watching right now. If you're in Canada, you're in the States, or if you even have a Casada. But Casada is one of the best Mexican grills I've found so far. Tacos, burritos, quesadillas. I love that place. It's not very far from my house. So I got a spicy chicken uh, quesadilla. I got it cut into seven pieces. And I'm going to try each one of these hot sauces on a piece. And I'm going to see if I can tell you what I would call this sauce. And then I'll look and see what the actual name is. Huh? What an idea. I'm just going to go for any old sauce. I'm going to go for this one. Why not? And I'm going to shake it up. Can't see it. There's nothing on the back. Just so, I'll show you, just so you know. All right. That's all that's on the back. All right. Just a barcode and some label there. I see that it's a lighter colored sauce, so I can see that. It's too bad I'm not doing this blind photo with a partner or something, right? And they're putting it on stuff and saying, guess what sauce that is? Wouldn't that be a great video? That was my original idea. But I can't do it. Don't have a partner, right? All right. So, here we go with this first sauce. Come on. Get on there. Ooh, that's a nice, nice amount there. Mmm. That one has like a pineapple-y flavor. It's like citrusy, pineapple-y. It's mildly sweet. There's some heat, but not very much. <clears throat> I want some more. Come on. Mmm. Actually, that's got some lime flavor too. I don't know. I don't know what it's called. I'm going to say this one would be pineapple lime passion or something. 
Maybe that's what it's called, right? Is that what it's called? It is called <laughs> grapefruit. Grapefruit with habanero. <laughs> I was way off. <laughs> Pineapple and lime. Okay, that's what I got from that one. But it's good. I, I noticed some sweetness there. Again, if you see this online or see it in the store, try it out. It's good. Grapefruit habanero. Let's go for one of these red guys. I'll show you which one it is. All right. Okay. Let's try a nice amount on there. Mmm. I smell some kind of smokiness, like right off the bat. Um, it's like zesty, um, barbecue, smoky. A little bit like the liquid smoke. <sighs> so... I'd call it something like barbecue smoke or something. I don't know, but it's like barbecue flavor liquid smoke. And I cannot read the name of this one. <laughs> Man, that writing is small. Special edition. I'm not sure which one that is. It tastes good, has some heat, but I'm getting mainly smoky flavor from it. Um, sweetened habanero pepper sauce is some description that it has on there, but it has a smoky flavor. That one's good too. I'll have to, uh, what I'll do is I'll number these, okay? I'll put them in the description, I'll number them, and I'll put the name of the second one on there. After I magnify it somehow with my iPhone or something, right, and figure that out. Let's go for this one. This one. This is the one that I figured would taste like lime because of the color, right? And the other one tasted like lime and it was grapefruit. What's going on? Kind of a nice smell. I, it's hard to tell. I got this food in my face too, so it's like, plus my nose is like kind of running. Hold on, come on, come on out. All right. That's interesting. That's kind of like a green pepper flavor, a little bit. Like green pepper. Hold on. I made this really hard for myself because I got onions, jalapenos, and some sauce of some kind on here. So it's kind of like <clears throat> mixing those flavors. I'm going to say this does. <laughs> You know what? I have to try it on the spoon. I do. All right. Mmm. Yeah, it's got... Excuse me. More of a uh, vegetable flavor. Green, green peppers. Um, a little bit of spinach, but there's some spiciness there. Like, it's probably got habaneros in it. I'm not sure what I would call it. Wild green or something. Let's see what this is. Green habanero. 
Okay. <laughs> Marie Sharp's Green Habanero. You know what? That's a very suiting name for that. It really is. It's good. It's good sauce. I like the vegetable leaf flavor. And it has some heat too. Respectable heat. <sighs> Let's see. I kind of know what one of these is. I'm not really sure what this is. Uh, I know one of them is Beware though. It's a really hot one, but I'm going to try this first. Instead of this one. Actually, I can't see it. So, I know I'm looking at it, but I can't see. I can only see the back. Get on there. Mmm. That has a nice sweetness to it. Really good. Pepper flavor, sweetness. Try some on a spoon. Such a nice pepper flavor. I'm not sure what I would call that. Maybe like red habanero. <laughs> of course. <clears throat> That's the Belizean heat. I've never had this one either. I was going to review that, but it's part of this lineup, so... Here's my review. It's a very good sauce. And of course it has more heat than the ones I've already tried. I can taste some garlic. And I think red habanero. Ooh, it's getting hotter. Ooh. There's that one. All right, so to be fair, I know what this is <laughs> already. I don't know what these are. So I'm gonna try this one first. That's how you beat your sauce. All right, this one has a darker color. No, I said the other one kind of tasted like barbecue. I think this one's going to taste like barbecue. Mmm. Yeah, it does. It does taste a lot like the one I couldn't read a minute ago. It's smoky. But there's a different flavor there, too. I'm not sure what that is. Hold on. Let's try it without the food. <clears throat> I don't know if that's garlicky, black pepper. Something different there. I can't put my finger on. What is this? Oh. I would just call it some kind of barbecue sauce. Oh, this is smoking Marie. Ooh, it does taste smoky. And that's hot, guys. This is hot. <clears throat> I don't know how hot Beware is going to be, but that is hot. It really is. It's ramping up in heat. Ooh, all right. Before I try Beware, <clears throat> let's try this little guy. Another light colored mild sauce. There it is, I'm not looking. Whew. Mouth is getting hot. Let's try it.
That one is good. Reminds me of the first one I tried. <clears throat> that I said had like a, a lime flavor. It was grapefruit. This one has a lemon flavor. I'm going to call it like lemon drop or something. But it is called... What does that say? Orange Pulp Hot Habanero. The first one was grapefruit. This one was orange. That's hilarious. They both taste like they have lime or lemon in them. Let's try that on a spoon too. See if I can get a different flavor from it. Very nice consistency. I can see the orange orange pulp in there. I can't show you, unfortunately, but it looks very nice. Smooth. Nice, smooth flavor. There's some sweetness there. It does have a hint of orange to it, but a hint of lemon still, I'm thinking. Yeah, just a hint. Not too much. And last, <clears throat> but not least... On this National Hot Sauce Day, beware! I'm gonna pretend like, well, I don't know what's in beware, so. Woo! I got the flavor on my lips right now of all this other stuff, especially of this one. It's nice, sweet, I can taste the habanero flavor. Mm. Let's get a nice piece of spicy chicken quesadilla. Baby, throw some of this beware sauce on it. Come on. You know what? Shake it up a bit. <laughs> Loosen that up. Nice smell. It smells a little bit like vinegar. A little bit. There we go. There we go. Mmm. Now that, <clears throat> that has a really nice flavor. Garlicky, but a little different. Than that as well. A little, a little different flavor there. I'm not sure what. Garlicky, onion, some black pepper. Alright, one sec. Let's see if I can hit it with this. It reminds me a little bit of No Wimps Allowed. Which was pretty hot. Nice heaping bit on the on the spoon. Mmm. It does <coughs> taste a bit like no whips allowed. Has a salty kind of a black pepper and garlicky flavor. But on the top, it's kind of a sweet flavor to it as well. And it's, it's hot. It's ramping up. Beware of this sauce. Beware is made with stuff that I just can't read. But look how small this writing is. On this little bitty bottle. Look at it. I can't even get it to show up hardly. Well, it's got like five X's on there. Warning. X, 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 X. So hot. Mm. And it is. It's so hot. Nice chunks of pepper and onion there. And garlic. Mm. That's good. 
That is a good sauce. Yeah, baby. Pretty good. <clears throat> nice lineup of Marie Sharp sauces again, guys. Woo! It's getting hot. That helps. Mm. Really good. This is going to have to say bye bye. Uh, bye bye. basically a little shot. <clears throat> Whew. And that's hot. Yeah. Thanks again, uh, Marie Sharps, for sending those sauces to me. And guys, you can buy these sauces and more on their website. I'll put the web address in the description down below they have many companies they've been around for many years they have many uh <clears throat> excuse me corporations like if you go on instagram you can find marie sharps canada marie sharps usa marie sharps i think chile and marie sharps uh africa and some other places i mean there's just so many affiliates and these guys have very good quality hot sauces I'm very proud to honor them on National Hot Sauce Day so guys check out <clears throat> their sauces on the website Follow them, like them, Instagram, Facebook, everywhere. Show your support. Put your comments down below if you've had Marie Sharp sauces. I'm into 25 minutes here. Oh my goodness. And just show them your love and support today on uh, National Hot Sauce Day. I'm Alan Dean. This is Hungry for Heat. Thanks for watching, guys. And always remember to stay hungry for heat.